morning day 16 theme for this morning's meditation jesus before pilate theme for this morning's meditation gospel according to st john chapter 18 verse 28 to 32 this instant during the passion highlights the irony of jews about purity and observance of law it also highlights the nexus between religion and politics misuse and abuse of the power by the jewish religious leaders and roman procurator pilate is clear and evident in this incident the whole episode explains how innocents are branded as criminals it also explains how the powerless and the poor will be victimized by the authorities for their selfish interest jewish religious leaders here are power mongers and the power seeking group their intention is to paint jesus image as criminal rebellious and traitor before the state the religious and civil legal system here is corrupt and unjust all collaborate with one or another for their own selfish gains and will not bother to persecute and kill the innocents firstly my meditation holy rituals and unholy actions holy rituals and unholy actions they want jesus to be crucified before the passover begins the passover begins from friday evening it could be one reason the condemnation and trials took place before the dawn the jewish priest and the leaders did not enter into pilate's palace to remain holy but they entered into an unholy alliance with the powers of the state two things that are quite visible to the readers in the text are jews strict adherence to the religious ritual and the second one their evil intention of killing jesus for their own selfish gains jews here in the passage are concerned about observing passover with strict adherence to the rituals they are portraying trying to portray that they are ceremonially clean and holy on the other hand they are making attempts to kill jesus through conspiracy to be within them they are committing most unclean and unholy acts observance of the law has become mechanical in their lives they are concerned about the technicalities by paying least of their attention towards the essence of the festival paschal lamb slayed at the first time in egypt he is to deliver israel from bondage and now they are killing jesus god hates this kind of hypocrisy on one hand they want to make god happy and to prove they are religious through the observance of rituals on the other hand they are committing grave sins and killing an innocent and a righteous person secondly in my meditation politics without service politics without service roman and jewish officials have compromised all the standards and mandatory legal proceedings during the trial of jesus according to the law of moses any trial is not supposed to take place at the midnight any trial should happen during the day time or during the working hours but this trial took place at a most unusual time it reveals that it is conspiracy and not a fair trial this also mentions of the whole there is also no mention of the whole sanhedrin the required quorum during jesus trial jesus was given to roman officials there is no mention 
of any legal procedure and trial taking place there is no oaths no defenses and no any sort of legal trial not seen in this entire episode Raymond E Brown a scholar opines that it is nothing but a judicial murder it was well planned and executed conspiracy against Jesus in Mark's gospel Jesus was bounded like a bandit and criminal it is to give an impression before pilate that Jesus is a dangerous person they wanted the state to fulfill their wish in order to execute the plan jewish leaders heartily agreed caesar as their king they stood down from their ideological stand and happily shouted that caesar is their king and they subscribed to the empire when pilate wants the jews to punish jesus according to their law they reply by saying that they have no authority to execute a person but later they stones stephen to death in acts chapter 7 verse 54 uh, to acts chapter 8 verse 2 we can see pilate assumes that this case could be a religious transgression and asks them to punish according to their law jews now shifts the allegation from jewish transgression to treason to the roman state only when it is treason against the roman state that the crucifixion could be administered jesus claim of king of jews is treated as sedition according to the roman law it will attract the penalty raymond e brown explains that the reason that jesus was brought before pilate was planned in such a way that it that the accusation on jesus will automatically receive a capital punishment from roman authorities religious and political leaders have to lead their members towards growth and progress but their desire to retain power made them to brand innocents as criminals scribes pharisees and high priests out of jealousy branded jesus as criminal to eliminate him pilate on the other hand to safeguard his power and position yielded to jews appeal he would have feared rioting during the festival the son of man is laying life for serving others leaders here in the passage are charged with responsibility are killing innocents to retain their power politics and power without vision and service becomes dangerous for innocence and thirdly in my sermon looking at our context everyone stands for justice suffers similar treatment like jesus from the corrupt officials a research scholar rohit vemala from hyderabad central university was championing the rights of dalits and minorities in the university he was seen as a threat by the abvp local unit members same was communicated through a member of parliament to the central minister for a higher education that rohit is a dangerous person who manhandled fellow students the nexus of politics and power and religious resulted in immediately suspending him from the university from the college throwing him out of the campus a scholarship is not paid within a day he was portrayed as a criminal and all these things forced him to commit suicide similar incidents are continuing in our country professors and civil activists who spoke in the favor of dalit people in the incident of bhima koregaon are now branded as anti nationals were treated as a threat to the integrity and the sovereignty of the country by looking at the cross 
prophet isaiah prophesies us the jesus was led like the sheep that was taken to be slaughtered and silent jesus knowing that in the path of righteousness there are sufferings he happily agreed and went ahead leaders in the incidents were taking the lives for their political mileage for their desires but our master gave his life on the cross the love a heart for his people the kind of death that jesus indicated is lifting up which means crucifixion it's a roman capital punishment used to shame the person and his followers and family the blame and the shame did not make him grow weak he endured all this in doing god's will he turned the shame into glory cross is a path of suffering which inspires us even during the afflictions and motivates during trials to stand with the lord cross despite suffering stands as an icon of hope to all the suffering communities let us pray gracious and heavenly father lord we pray for those who suffer because of the nexus of religion and power master people who fight for your righteousness who stand for your justice are treated as criminals branded as dangerous persons in the society lord be with them restore them strengthen them lord use all your people as your channels to bring peace and justice in this country and strengthen their struggle of father in this way journey and help us to be their partners on this path of righteousness of father lord lead us all with your holy spirit for your glory sake even in the times of trials and sufferings you guide us and motivate us in jesus name we pray lord amen